Yep. All right, fantastic. GLHF, GLHF. Okay, here we are. We are playing Neath, Neath P. Uh, this is a rated game of Defended Pawn. Um, just trying to get ourselves in the Defended Pawn mindset. Uh, of course, this is the variant that the 5D Chess League is going to be played in. So, got to get used to it, you know? Um, I, for one, welcome our new Defended Pawn Overlords. Uh, so, what are we doing here? Um, C4 is an interesting opening. Uh, in Defended Pawn, of course, the opening variety is, like, much, much greater. Here, those stretches are an important thing for 5D chess. Yeah, absolute, absolute necessity. Um, that's interesting. Uh, I think the English is probably decent in this game mode, uh, in this variant. The only thing is it sort of limits what you can do with your D-Pawn, because, you know, if you're sort of opening up triagonals, and that might be an issue. You know what? I've got half a mind to go b5 here. Is there any reason not to go b5? b5? Question mark? b5? Um, what if we want b5? What if? b5. b5? I mean, takes doesn't work. Uh, push? Maybe, must be what he's, in some sense, baiting here, right? How do we deal with push? b5, c5. B5, C5, B4, <laughs> race. Um, all right, hold on. B5, C4, E6. It's hard for him to defend. Well, we're just going to do it, by the way. Uh, moon first, sink later. I... I forgot it was turn one. Uh, turn one, your timer doesn't go, which I think is kind of unfair. Whoa, okay, he defends it there, but I think it's probably fine to open this up like this, right? I'm okay with trading here. Should I not be? Um, especially, especially because when we take, I can then maybe immediately threaten this bishop uh, and get something started here. Um, this looks whack. Uh, that that is the that is the scientific terminology. I, what other options do I have? If I don't want to capture, which I do want to capture, um, I I really want to take this. Is this good? What does he do? Uh, he sort of lines up his bishop um, with f7. Yeah, we're just gonna take it. Moon first, sink later, men. I I feel good about this. I feel good about this. All right, now we probably attack this. With an active queen. I think that, like, a G-pawn for an F-pawn is probably a good trade, as well as tempo here. I mean, what this has done... Oh. What I can do now is maybe this. Is that good? I can pseudo-frappuccino my bishop. Uh, I don't know if that's good. This will sort of force his bishop back. Um, I think what I really want is... Well, no. Hold on, let's not get too hasty here. I'm really not worried about... I think this is good for us, man. What, what do we do if here... Like, if queen out, then... This is kind of annoying. Maybe what I want to do is... I'd actually love to sort of hit that bishop with this bishop. Maybe it's sensible. I mean, queen out immediately is pretty sketch. Um... But I've got a queen all the way out there. Like, doesn't it sort of paralyze his pieces? This is irresponsible. This isn't... Th I don't think that this is good, and I don't condone my behavior here. But I'm going to do it. Uh, for science. For science. That's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to, like, test the waters. We're trying to figure out what's good, what's not. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Right? Um... Seems okay to me. <laughs> For quantum physics? The, sh there you go. <laughs> For that, that is the cause that we're playing for. Quantum physics. For quantum physics. This is interesting. I can... F I definitely... This, it's nice that I've sort of postured my bishop...
in a way where I can Having my pieces pointed in this direction is beneficial to me. That's basically all I was going to say. Um, what can I do here? The, everything's so defended. None of his pieces have moved, so it's difficult to even... To even, like, figure out what... To do. Um, I'm going to have to wait for him to create an opening. It's like... I mean, I guess that's the bad thing about, like, really, I probably should have taken a tempo advantage uh, and just called it a day. Um, that's interesting. Okay. So what's happened here? Well, um, what's happened here? So there's now uh Uh, a 2D tactic of bishop sack, and then that's a discarded attack on the queen, but it's also a check, so I lose my queen. And that's something that I want to avoid doing. Um, there is a piece pointed at... I'm not going to get anything out of a travel to here on this board. Um, I mean, it's necessary, like, takes and then takes and then the king takes, but I don't really have a follow-up. Um... So it's not that excited because I don't have any pieces developed. Um, but maybe I just do one of these. Um, I think that this is probably fine. Um, yeah, why not? Get our queen to safety. This is a really weird position to be in. Um, but it's going to be hard for him to kick. Uh, you know, he doesn't have his knights out, his bishops. He can't reach us with pawns. Uh, we're covering. Um, we're staring at the same square that our queen was at here. Uh, and so that kind of like places a bit of pressure. It like, I guess, freezes this to some extent bishop in place. Um, again, I don't think that like a travel to here is good right now. It might be better in the future. Uh, but it is an option. <laughs> we have line of sight to that pawn here. Um, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, this pawn's also pinned. He can't, like, push it, because this is, like, mate. Um, all right, so now, now, now the tempo advantage has swung in the opposite direction. Um, there is a concern here where, of course, we're giving up this rook, and that's something that I don't want to do. Uh, where does this knight go? I feel like this knight probably actually makes for some very dangerous... Well, one thing that the knight does is defend um, d2, uh, which is good, um, but I can't help but notice that his pieces are pointed toward my pieces. Uh, this is defended twice, this is defended once, non-king defenses, that is. So, like, capture here, and then, like, this is a concern, but... I mean, oh, this is defended three times, sorry. Can always move the knight out here. Uh, probably I want to save the rook. Um, probably, probably I want to save the rook. I guess I could do that by pushing the f-pawn as well. What does that do for me? It prevents me from any of this happening. Yeah, let's just, let's just save the rook. Let's just save the rook. I think that defending this pawn is, it's like a way to be better safe than sorry. Um, Ryan not confident in Neath. I don't even know how good Neath is. I just assume these are good odds. Um, Neath, uh, I'm not sure what our record's like on stream. Um, I think it's possible that he's beaten me before on stream. Um, but unless I'm mistaken, I can remember a few times which I've beaten him, and not a specific time in which he's beaten me. So I think my record against Neath is favorable, but he, he's no slouch. Neath knows his stuff, man. Uberpoom is here. How's it going? You've been going late into the evening lately. Yeah, well, well, okay, for Saturdays, that's very usual. Um, but the weeknight streams are new. Uh, they're not going to be very frequent, but, you know, every so often I like, have 
a free evening and I have either tournament games that I have to play or I'm missing content on the YouTube channel. So I move some stuff around to, you know, um, maybe save some more work for the next day, but like become free soon enough, early enough that I can, that I can stream a few games. It probably won't be like a super long stream, but you know, here we are. We're here to play some 5D chess. Um, but it's good to see you here, Freddy. How's it going, man? Uh, Remish still thinks Neath will win prob unless Samet does big brain plays. Z. Oh, that is yet to be seen. <laughs> well, we'll see about those big brain plays. Z. Uh, Neath is slightly lower rated than Samet, whatever that's worth. Is it worth something? <laughs> Probably worth something. I think historically I've been rated a little bit more highly than he has been. Um, but I also, like, never play this game. <laughs> I only play it on stream. I never grind um, rated games, you know? Uh, and lately, I haven't been playing rated games on stream either, so I don't know where my ELO's at with respect to where it looks like it's at. Any Geeks here. Hey, man, how's it going? What's up? Any Geek shared some interesting um, 7D chess with multiverse time travel stuff with me. I don't know if the world's ready for it, but... Uh, it's certainly a thing that exists right now. <laughs> You should call your streams Summit After Sunset and just strictly play jazz like this. Honestly, not a bad call. Uh, we get, the thing is, it's difficult to find too much of any one kind of music that's royalty free. <laughs> this is like a royalty free jazz playlist that I found randomly on YouTube. Um, so, you know, can't get DMCA'd. Uh, if I had like a bigger pool of strictly speaking jazz music to play from then i think i could lean into the jazz theme a little bit a little bit better if this were traditional chess i'd say this is a bad position since white three two active pieces and a push pawn since white has two active pieces and a push pawn whereas black has moved the queen twice wait so who are you saying it's bad for him uh interesting Okay, he's setting up more pressure on our king side. All of his pieces are slowly but surely pointing at our king side. Uh, I am a big fan of this skewer play right here. Um, I think that's pretty money. Uh, but let me think. Is this a tarp? Could be getting tarped. Uh, moon first, right? Come on, look at this. This is great. Uh, hmm. I mean, this enables him to recapture. With the queen. But I think after... a knight move next turn. I don't have to worry about any time travel shenanigans. And that's probably favorable for me. Right? Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a little concerning that his pieces are pointed here, but like, if I've got a bishop here... Well, okay, where does it, where does it travel take him? Maybe, maybe I should be a little bit more concerned than I am. Travel doesn't really take him anywhere, right? If he takes with the if he takes like here with the queen or whatever. Right, then I take and then takes. Hey, Dave Gone Wild just subscribed. Thanks so much, Dave. How's it going, man? What's up? I'll read your message in a sec. It's my turn right now, I'm on the clock, but thank you so much for the support. Dave Dave's been subscribed for months. Thanks so much, man. I really feel though, I really appreciate it. You don't have to keep doing this just cause just cause we go back. It means a lot. Thank you, Dave. Um, you guys are too good to me. Yeah, if, if uh, travel here, then knight takes, bishop takes. You might think, oh, it draws out the king. But then knight re... <laughs> Zap Soup is now following. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. I haven't seen you around in my chat before. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you, hope you have a good time. Hope you enjoy 
uh, what I was trying to say is that I can recapture uh, after the first recapture with this pawn. Um, well, okay, so there is a concern there uh, because then he's got mate and one on this board. So maybe I should take this seriously. Maybe I should take this seriously. What's, what's the best way to take this seriously? Well, how can I avoid... Okay, this kind of enables me to avoid doing that, right? Um, no, if he, if he gives us a timeline, then next turn I'll be able to go here and I'll have another timeline. Probably win then, right? Whoa! This does nothing. I don't know why I got so excited. <laughs> that's that's like actually useless. Uh, okay. Maybe it's the queen sack. Eh. Let's see. Let me be careful here. Let me let me be careful. Let me be careful. No, that does give me a win, doesn't it? Then again, there's a bishop out here, so that's a little sus, right? Where does the travel go? The travel goes to here. He's traveling with the queen, just like the only piece that he can travel with. sec to think here is there merit to leaving the queen there in the event of okay hold on so it takes oh and then I've got that queen there and then takes with this bishop and then takes and then only move is king takes because uh, it'll be too far away for him to do with any other piece. And then, um, ah, I don't have a knight out here yet. So then I can go up here. Or maybe, hold on, first turn here with the bishop. I don't think, I think I'm, I think I'm chasing a dragon here. I don't think that there's actually anything worth coming up with all right let, let me calm down and just play the game uh i'm down on time and there's really very little reason for me to be uh let me let's make some defensive plays here the nice thing about a move like this is that kind of forces his hand then again a move like this uh, no, it doesn't quite work that way, does it? Uh, two turns to the past, takes, 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 and that's a problem, but actually, it's going to sound crazy, but maybe this is then the right move? Is that right? This allows me to cover that. Well, it kicks the queen for one. Um, 
It kicks the queen for one, but also if he does this now, then I can take and then after takes, I can take with this pawn. And this piece being here means that this is an immediate mate. That's my thought process. Is that good? I don't know. Or am I gonna do it? Yes. It prevents crazy triagonal situations when this pawn is gone. Um, and quadragonals. Yeah, let's kick the queen. Because it also has to, if it like moves somewhere and then we take this and it he takes back with the queen anyway, then that's like a pretty bad look. It's kind of useless. Uh, this knight being developed immediately after this prevents like most travels to a board that he wants to be on, which is pretty good. So yeah, I, f I feel all right about this. I think this is fine. Um, Kevin McLeod is great for free music. That's good to know. I've, I've, you, I've like worn the digital records out on the Harris Heller stream beats playlists. Um, so I have been looking for some, for some fresh stuff, but uh, that's a good shout. I'll have to check him out. Soundtrack of KSP actually used mostly Kevin McQuiad songs. That's awesome. Uh, I haven't played too much KSP. Um, just never had the time, but I wanted to, but I'll check him out for sure. As for who it's bad for, I'd say bad for black. You're probably right. You're probably right. I, I think that this position is bad for black. Uh, Dave says, prepare yourself. Next normal stream, you're being forced to play gremlins with the gang. That actually warms my heart. That's, that's so wholesome. Dude, I'm, I'm so in. That, that sounds like a really good time. Uh, okay, that's, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, thanks so much for the subscription, Dave. Seven months in a row. Holy shit. I think that you're, I think you're tied for my longest subscriber. Um, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, forcing mates makes the game less complex to think about. <laughs> Crying laughing emoji. I agree with you there. How does this avoid the mate from queen? Uh, the way that it avoids the mate from queen is that um, if the queen travels now to capture here, then I can recapture with this knight, uh, you know, with this knight from the central, or sorry, with this knight on that board when he makes a new timeline, I can recapture with the knight. And after the knight recapture, he'll capture with the bishop in an attempt to lure my king out. But I can grab uh, the bishop on one turn, one timeline up and one turn in the past that will capture on F7 with the pawn on F7 from this timeline. Uh, and so I'll be safe on that other board and I'll have timeline priority and I'll be up a queen and it'll be hunky-dory. Uh, the reason that I, it's sketched to do that without this pawn push that I just did is well, you can imagine on this board, if I remove this king, uh, or sorry, if I remove this pawn, then like, in pretty much a turn, uh, well, he can check me, like, immediately, but then after I, like, recapture or whatever, queen here will be checkmate. Uh, and that's bad news bears, and so that's what I wanted to prevent was, like, on this timeline, a queen here being checkmate, or something like that. Um, he would have to get to there from the other board, which is something that I didn't consider. Uh, I think it was overly cautious in some ways, but ultimately, I think it was fine. Uh, I think I think it was good. I think we did what we needed to do, and I think that this queen is fucked off, and I think that we've regained tempo. I think that it was good. Um, now let's figure out what to do. We can Frappuccino. We're down a lot of time, which is very on brand for the channel. Um, we can Frappuccino this bishop. We've got. I guess what I have to ask myself is, do, do I want? Uh, I do really like the idea of Frappuccinoing this bishop. All right, candidate moves. Knight f6, bishop g7, or bishop takes f3. Now, I think the most responsible move, realistically speaking, is probably the one that... It's not like he's in a position where he's actually going to be able to travel onto f7 anyway, or to do so with like any amount of potency. So uh, from that perspective, it's not that important. And I definitely don't want to move both of these guys out of the way because that feels pretty like Monka S. Uh, but the long diagonal, man, like I, 
He's got to do something about this rook. He's probably going to move it here. If he ever brings this bishop out here, we could just pull this bishop here. And then, like, take this and then go here and then, like, sack two to... All right, I've convinced myself to Frappuccino. I've convinced myself to Frappuccino my bishop. I uh, hope it's okay. <laughs> hope that we're fine. Uh, we'll find out in a bit. I think that it's definitely the riskier play. Uh, I don't know what risk I'm trying to avoid. This is my... I, I tend to uh, see the 5D boogeyman. Keep the clock in mind. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> He's got twice my time, but it's fine. There was a sort of shady little situation there where we thought we could get got tactically. Maybe it's the case that we still can get got tactically. But... Um, our queen is really doing like a lot of work defending all of these pawns now. Uh, that is, I have kind of overburdened my queen. That's something that I didn't like super take into consideration, but I'll we'll figure it out. I vaguely remember a position similar to this one. Really? Like in a defended pawn game? Have you played many defended pawn games? One more. Aw, oh, hell yeah, dog. This is fantastic, right? Oh, maybe we take this. Is that crazy? Am I getting crazy right now? Wait, that... Take here, and then go here, and then I can go to here on this board. Didn't I win the game? I mean, he can travel. What? Okay, well, maybe it's because, like, if I move here, then he'll, like, go here, and it'll be bad news bears for me. Maybe he's setting up, like, a travel himself. Uh, let's check out his travels, because this queen is at some po Oh, no, it's blocked by itself, which is very funny. But, like, next turn, where's it going to be? It's going to go here, and then here, and then here? It's probably fine. What? All right, moon first. I'm behind on time. I think this move might win me the game, so I'm just going to make it. He must have seen this move, yeah? Is there a reason? I mean, okay, what can he do? He can provide a check. He can sack a pawn for no good reason. Uh, no, nah, he's got me scared, man. My, my man's got me scared. And I really shouldn't be scared because this looks great for me. I mean, yeah, he can always do, like, a travel and then take this with, like, the... Um... Oh! Okay. I was blind, fam. Uh, fam. I, I was blind to the fact that the position changed since move four of the game. And there is, of course, now a knight on f3. What I should have done was first trade the knight on f3 with the bishop and then do this. Actually, no, I think that this is a better way to do this. Sorry, I was like, why don't I like win this turn? And then I realized uh, it's that that's a very cement type of blunder to make though it's got to be said um now he's got to like no because how does he block here i don't know man it looks kind of rough okay what we're gonna do now is i think a little bit of this action is there something more threatening that I can do? Because I can't set up the travel this turn. I have to set it up next turn because I want to travel to this board. Okay, but now he's given us two travels. Oh, wait. Actually, this might be a problem um, for the simple reason that... Um... Okay, okay. Oh, I thought, I thought I prevented him from making this travel. I was wrong. Okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Um, this is fine. Let's see. I have the... Capture with the, uh, again, yeah, and it's not like the finest situation I've ever been in. Uh, that, tell you that for free. Okay, hold up. Where do we go? We can only go back to here. That doesn't get us very far. Um, how far back can I... Okay, man, this 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 sucks. 
I'll be the first to admit uh, that I, I've made a grave miscalculation. This is like exactly the thing that I was worried about him doing, uh, and somehow I enabled him to do it. Um, which is not, not my greatest play. I did just trade off both my bishops, which is pretty bad. Uh, but is there a way that I can get... He can always check me, I guess, is the issue. Probably we have to do, like, a travel like this. But then where can we go from there? It takes with the knight. What do we do? Besides just get wrecked. Uh, he can check, I guess, is the issue. So we kind of have to do this. Right? What do? What do? We probably lost. We probably lost. Uh... I think we probably lost. Because uh, we don't have a mate soon enough. Nearly soon enough. We, we, it's not really close. Um, I think we probably got, got here, right? We can't Jurassic. Let's see. Well, can I at least move to a position where I can move? Not really. I th it's possible that this is curtains, boys. Because the only place that I can move, like, a knight from is here. Uh, the only place that I can move, like, I have to do this. And then this is going to happen. Maybe we do make this move because I don't see what else we can do given the situation, right? So let's do that. And then the queen move happens. Uh, and then we've got to figure out how to remove that queen. And I fear it may be not super possible to do that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, what do? He can provide a check anywhere else. So let's just go ahead and do this now to buy ourselves some time. Um, all right, so that has happened. He's not giving us any time to his credit. Uh, and then there's just no way to get there in time. All right, rip in peace. Right? He can always provide a check is the issue. This is the only way that he can like not provide a check. But then we're not, that's, that's like harder for us to access um, than this board is, so. That's probably it. That's probably it for us. Well, I'd rather die. I'd rather die with time on my clock. <laughs> so let's play a move that prolongs our lives just like a little bit. GG. Bonclad for the win. Well played. Well played, Denise. Some beautiful arrows there for you. Uh, it's, it's funny how I spent all of my time trying to calculate, like, one tactic and, like, the proper way to defend against that tactic. And the one thing that I lost to was exactly that tactic. It's because I got overexcited about the... I mean, really, I... Well, of course, it's 5B chess, and so I have no one to blame but myself, but uh, I, I, I let myself get super distracted by the fact that, like, this bishop moved. Um, and I don't think it would have mattered much, if at all, right? I don't think it would have mattered at all if I had switched the order of these things around, but I got so excited. Well, if I had remembered... <laughs> I remembered that the knight on f3 covers e2 because when I was like making my way too grand plans way too early into the game uh, the knight hadn't moved yet it was like four turns into the game <laughs> so I was like ah only defender right so I want to get to like this board or whatever um, or to like remove that defender but of course there's another defender and then it took too long 
Like the move that I wanted to play, and I did say like literally exactly this. I said the responsible move to make in this position is the one that prevents a travel to this board, which is knight f6. I said those exact words, and then I said, nah, fuck that YOLO, and then I played the bishop out instead, and it just goes to show that, like, if I'm not going to listen to myself, uh, <laughs> when I accurately calculate the proper moves to play in a position, then I don't really deserve the game anyway. <laughs> so, GG. Uh, candidate moves. The one that definitely survives the game, uh, and we have a good position anyway, or the one that is like a beeline to maybe some tactic that our opponent might fall for. GG. That was a good game.